Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we will going to talk about the new balance changes which is live in the game right now and we will going to talk about the new super lava hound card in this video. So without wasting any time first, I will love to tell you guys this is the first time which happened in the casual history that balance changes came like before the end of this current season so i'm completely shocked with that each and every player in the community is completely shocked because we have a global tournament at the time and the, the season will going to end in two three days but a sudden balance changes will going to impact on all lots of players with their decks i'm completely the community is completely adjusted but hopefully we will see like the balance changes is really good to be honest but i feel like they did uh, some I mean the first there is a lot of balance in this so I feel like they they overdo this I like the nerfs I like some of the buffs but I am not happy with uh, all the buffs and rework can be arguably is good but I think they did a lot in buff but yeah I guess you already know what are the balance changes but let's just go and break through the balance changes the first thing is uh, Archer Queen, Golden Knight. So list of the card which is going to be balanced. Archer Queen, Golden Knight, Giant, Mini Becker, Inferno Tower, Musky, Hunter, Hog, Ram, Balloon, Prince and Dark Prince. Which is, I mean, a lot guys. This is a lot of balance changes. You can, uh, first Archer Queen which is the speed during ability is slow. So now you will not uh, Archer Queen now will going to use as a defensive utility much more, much more like a tank support and Archer Queen still will be one of the fine card I mean uh, one will be broken card to be honest because I don't think that so, this not will be enough for Archer Queen they have to go heavy on Archer Queen to be honest because she is probably the best card and the best champ among all the three and yeah now you will going to see archer queen most more on defense rather than on offense because uh, due to the slow evil ability in the uh, opponent can't just go archer queen at the bridge they will not get success with that so yeah archer queen in defense with the same um, thing which uh, it uh, which which he she will going to do for the last two months will remain the same so yeah i don't think so it will going to impact archer queen that much but yeah the playstyle will be different from offensive with defense and mainly archer queen is used as defense and then go in offense like a counter push thing so i feel like archer queen is still really op and golden knight ability cooldown 8 to 11 second which i feel like does not <laughs> does not impact at much because usually how many times you use ability i feel like if i'm playing golden knight i usually use only once the ability for one golden knight after that another golden knight one ability because 8 second I mean you can do like for 2 times but it's very rare case and uh, dash range is the good nerve to be honest because <laughs> I don't know how the golden knight managed to sneak through the tower and do a lot of damage so yeah dash range was really important not to golden knight but I still feel like golden knight will be in the meta but uh, it uh, now it you can't rely on golden knight that much that's the only difference but golden knight as a support as the cleaning the defense will be one of the finest champion like uh, it will going to complete uh, it will going to help you to stop the pushes coming from your uh, to your side with like a for example like a giant witch or dark prince double prince is coming on your way golden knight will going to stick to the giant and going to hit the prince and dark princess so yeah that will be the that's why he is a champion and that strange reduction will going to help kind of in helping on defense but the connection will not be like frequent from now the connection was so strange like i don't know the golden knight somehow managed to sneak to the tower which will not going to happen so that's and um, thumbs up for this not to the golden knight giant plus four person hit point i don't know why they want to do this i really feel like this is unnecessary because giant i don't know if you think that giant is not in meta then i you i completely disagree with you giant double prince is there giant graveyard is still there because graveyard is freaking op i don't know why they did not buff or uh, not sorry not the graveyard graveyard is probably the uh, best win condition the best card all pros use in their competition I don't know, but now with 4% of hit point, Giant Graveyard will be probably one of the meta breaking deck. Giant Double Princess, however, may 
not meet that OP because uh, Princess got a kind of a rework, but Giant Graveyard will be the meta killer. The original big guy left a bit behind and lost some of his glory. The little health boost will make him a more valuable choice. I completely disagree. Giant is a valuable. Mini Vega, and why is this? <laughs> you want to make Mini Vega as a lumberjack? Plus 6% hit speed. Now Mini Vega will going to swing very faster, which means Giant Mini Vega is coming to you, everybody. Giant Mini Vega push is coming. So, Giant Mini Vega decks are coming, guys. I feel like Giant will be the meta for the next season. The Vangelover is not doing the great recently. I I can agree. Uh, Mini Vega is not doing that recently, but that doesn't mean you have to buff it, huh? So you think that you can literally just knock the the other card so that Mini Vega will be viable? You think that buffing Mini Vega is a good idea? For my point of view, I don't think so. Like there are lots of card that is not in uh, like doing well recently or in the past as well but you will not going to touch those you will just want to make a stupid deck available for one season and then again not wait that's what your freaking plan super saiyan so i hate with this mini becca and giant to be honest inferno tower i agree on this plus 25 percent first hit speed inferno tower is known for a tank killer building and you can see tesla is being very popular case is also been very popular spawn got a very um, spawn is almost out of the game so only building after I feel like in uh, Tesla and Case is the Inferno Tower and with this Inferno Tower will be probably one of the best building because now it just it just kill everything uh, really faster like if first hit speed is plus 25 motion which means the the um, the ability of like um, killing the unit from Inferno Tower and Inferno Dragon is really like in time it will just increase by inc increase so i feel like when it locked on in some unit and then it died and it again re uh, re uh, retarget to another unit then it will going to kill that faster so inform tower will be in meta and this is a thumbs up i feel like yeah tesla is pro i think tesla got a good nerve but i feel like tesla is still there so inferno tower will be one of the best building coming to your way musky plus hit speed a nine person so Musky and Hunter got uh, the hit speed of 9% and 11% respectively which means you will going to see much more support unit now. So I feel like Electro Wizard is probably the favorite supporting air targeting and ground targeting unit. Now Hunter and Musky can give a competition to Electro Wizard. Obviously Electro Wizard reset and it's a legendary so yeah but this rare and epic card will be in the meta. I feel like Giant Hunter deck, Giant Musky deck will be in meta. So let's see how it goes. I feel like the meta will going to uh, shift diversely to the giant decks. Royal Hawk, uh, he damage minus three percent, which I totally agree. Like Royal Hawk does guarantee damage no matter what you play, not no matter, but uh, you have to do a negative trade uh, to stop a Royal Hawk. And if you don't have a building, then uh, fast Royal uh, Royal Hawk cycle deck will be very difficult to deal with. So yeah, Royal Hawk minus three percent damage is really good now. So Ram Rider slow effect won't affect spawn speed. Mm, so basically, if Ram Rider um, slow down the witch, then uh, witch will not able to produce much more skeleton. But yeah, I think this is. I feel like this not will not going to affect that much. It's kind of like interaction with witch and night witch, witch spawn unit. Is there any other witch that spawn unit? I don't think so. That's witch and night witch only, right? So yeah, that will not going to affect this Ram Rider drastically, but that was a good one. Balloon rework with the damage minus 33%, but his speed plus 33%. Now it will going to be... I feel like this is a good nerf. Because once Balloon reach your tower, like in the past, it just does more than 1200 damage. Now it will going to do less damage, but the thing is... It will go to like the speed is very fast that it will going to drop very faster so you have to uh, reactively play adjust the loon maybe nado is probably one of the finest counter for loon so i feel like it's kind of in nerve side because the damage the loon player getting from a loon is huge now it will going to get a nerve which means i guess loon cycle will going to struggle but the hit speed of loon is very high so if you freeze it, maybe Loon Freeze can be one of the good options. 
then this uh, loon deck can be i feel like loon will be in the meta but uh, it will not be that strong which it used to be but over the time of loon maybe loon is better with this thing like with the damage speed hits with sorry and prince and dark means rebuff of minus four and minus three percent a hit point with the jump ability so now prince can jump on the river with their horses so that's completely strange but uh but the hit point now uh i guess they will not going to like take uh, one more hit from any other unit with that but dark winds has sealed so it's fine prince is probably one of the good tank killer and a very strong card so i feel like it will going to affect a bit but not drastically giant double prince may be still in the meta especially with that jumping ability you can win more much more Breeze battle you can directly go to the tower uh, building star getting tower with the princess so that your giant will stay alive minor to return out the target chap and yeah that's are all the balance changes very interesting balance changes and let's just talk about the new uh, theme of the so we're going to have a special valentine event which is for this lava hound card which is new super lava hound they did not came up with a good name but it's predicted like they said it's a super lava hound but they will going to come with a really nice name so if you want to see how um, lava hound work then you can see this video from CR League. so this is a lava hound right which is super so you can see a lot of by uh, differentiate on the color with the purplish and when it dies so this is really annoying it's like an e golem now <laughs> when this died you will going to see a kind of a damage and double lava hound small puppy lava hound like a golem and after that died it will going to spawn four lava pups so that's all the interaction of this interesting card to be honest but remember this is not a card which you will going to use for like an official card it just uh, let's just talk about the lava hound tower skin which look really sick guys the tower hound and you can see oh my god i am really love with this skin probably i will going to buy the royal bus you can see in the arena it also look really good lighting up oh the glow with that la lava thing Ooh, I really enjoy this probably I will buy a royal pass for this and since super lava game plan is a trainer let's see how it goes maybe dragon is for one doing damage oh my god the lava one is freaking big <laughs> let's see if the damage does okay so lava one after the super lava one died I don't think so even going to do damage but that's freaking a lot of damage oh my god so it's a, a legendary card for only for a special challenge which is for the valentine since valentine week is coming interesting interaction there are just the lava hound uh let's just go back and so everyone do not forget it's a special challenge card this means you will not able to play it elsewhere if this get a good response we may see more event like this in the future i think this look really cool and i'm really glad the cr team is doing this so with that that's our all the information about the cash royal uh, balance changes and the new card hope you like the video if you do make sure hit that like button and share to your friend i usually make cash royal con related content rather it's a deck suggestion ladder gc gts and Looks like this. Yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you uh, tomorrow or today in the last stream. Until then, take care. Bye.